Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply A star search algorithm to find an optimal path from initial node to the goals node. This is the graph given to us. In this case, uh, S is the initial node and uh, G is the goal node. So we need to find an optimal path from S to G here. In this case, uh, we can see uh, there are two kind of uh, costs are given. One is uh, the cost to reach from one node to another node. That is uh, 6 is the cost to reach from S to A. And uh, 5 is the cost to reach from S to B and so on. The one which is written on the top of node, for example, 10. 10 is the cost or you can say that the probable cost to reach from node A to the goal node in this case. Similarly, if you see this particular 4, this is the probable cost to reach from node E to this particular G that is also called as the heuristic value also. So given these particular things, uh, we want to find the optimal path from S to G in this case. So before we start applying the A star search algorithm, uh, we will try to understand the formulae used to calculate the cost in this case. Uh, in A star search algorithm, we use a cost function called as uh, Fn is equal to Gn plus uh, Hn where gn is the cost from the node to nth node or you can say that the cost from uh, current node to the nth node and hn is the cost from nth node to the destination or you can say that the goal node in this case. Now given uh, this particular formula, we need to go on applying it uh, to each and every path. The path which will give us the minimum cost that is nothing but the optimal uh, path in this case. Now uh, I will uh, start applying this particular uh, formulae to this particular uh, graph here. First uh, we will start with uh, node S because that is the initial node. If you want to go from S to S that is 0, that is uh, Gn is 0 in this case and uh, the heuristic value of uh, S is 17 that is uh, the probable distance cost to reach from S to G is 17 here. So if I add these two things I will get 17 that is F of n in this case. Now from S we have three possible uh, paths, one is uh, towards A, second one is towards B and third one is towards C. So we will uh, draw that particular thing here and then uh, we will try to find the heuristic values or you can say that the uh, cost of these particular paths. Now if you see this particular uh, cost uh, calculation, from S to A we know that uh, the distance, uh, this cost is 6 and from A to G the cost is uh, 10 that is the heuristic value. If I add these two things that is 6 plus 10 I will get 16 here. Similarly from S to B we have uh, 5 here. From B to G we have uh, 13 here. So the meaning of this one is uh, 5 plus 13 that is equal to 18 is the cost uh, in this case. Similarly uh, for C that is uh, from S to C that is 10. 10 plus 4 that is heuristic value which is equal to 14 in this case. Uh, you can see here in the queue, initially we have started with S. From S we can reach uh, C, A, B. C is the, uh, you can say that the minimum. The next minimum is uh, 16, that is A. And the next minimum is in this case uh, B here, that is 18. So in this order we need to arrange this particular queue here. Now coming back to the next one. Uh, among these three, C is the least uh, cost over here. So we will start exploring uh, C here. Uh, from C we can reach only D that is the only possible path. So the uh, cost of this particular path is 10 plus 6 plus the heuristic value of D here. That is 10 plus 6 is equal to 16 plus the heuristic value 2. Uh, total it is equal to 18 in this case. So that is what we will get over here. That is 16 is the cost and 2 is the heuristic value. Total it is 18 in this case. Now if I see these uh, three possibilities out of these three. Uh, we have A is the minimum one and one more thing you can notice here uh, for this particular queue I have added D. S A is the smallest one, S C D that is uh, this is the second smallest one, this is the third smallest one and so on. Now we try to explore this particular path that is uh, A. From A we can go to E because we have already uh, traversed this particular S yes, so we have to go to this particular E that is the only uh, possibility in this case. Now, if I go to this particular E, the total cost in this case is 6 plus 6 that is 12, 12 plus 4 is equal to 16 in this case. So that is what we will get uh, with respect to E here. Now we have added this particular E to this particular path that is S, A, E. And if I see these three possibilities, uh, this one is the minimum one that will come first and then this is second one and this is third one over here. 
Now, uh, because this is the smallest turn, we will try to explore the possibilities with respect to E. From E, either we can go to B or we can go to F. If I go to B, uh, this is the path we have followed here. That is S to A, A to E, E to F, B in this case. So, 6 plus 6, 12 plus 6, 18. 18 plus 13, it is equal to 31. That is the one path. And if I go to this particular side, uh, this will be 6 plus 6, uh, 12. 12 plus 4 is equal to 12. Uh, 16, 16 plus 1 is equal to 17 in this case. So, so these are the two possible uh, paths we will get here. Now, if you notice this particular B, uh, from B we cannot, uh, or, or, or what actually the thing is, uh, we got 31, which is uh, quite high in this case, as well as uh, uh, we have reached this particular F with a very least cost. So, we will uh, ignore this particular B here. From the remaining 3, from the remaining 3, what we have over here is, uh, uh, 1 is 17, 2 are 18. So, we will try to explore this particular F because this is having the minimum uh, cost here. From F, either I can go to D or I can go to, uh, can say that uh, uh, G in this case. Up to F, uh, if you see this particular thing, 6 plus uh, 6 is 12, 12 plus uh, 4 is equal to 16. 16 plus 6 uh, is the cost to reach this particular D plus uh, this one, uh, that is uh, uh, what we can say is a heuristic value. So, it will become uh, 6 plus 6, uh, that is uh, 12 plus 4, 16, 16 plus two, uh, 6 is 22, 22 plus 2 is equal to 24 in this case. If I follow this particular uh, G here, 6, 6, 12 plus 4, uh, 16, 16 plus 3 is equal to uh, 19, 19 plus 0 is equal to 19 in this case, because heuristic value of G is equal to 0 in this case. So, we got two possibilities. One possibility is with respect to D. For that one, we got 24. And for this particular G, we got 19 here. And we have reached this particular goal. So, if you see these particular two possibilities, 24 is the highest one. So, we ignore this particular path over here. And we have reached the goal. But still, uh, we have to explore the remaining possibilities also. Because uh, we may reach this particular goal with the least cost compared to this particular path. So, between these two, we will try to explore it. Uh, one is uh, D and another one is uh, B in this case. And if I see this particular thing, uh, we have already ignored this. We have reached this particular goal. We have only two possibilities. That is SCD and SB. Those are the two possibilities over here. Now, for this particular SCD, uh, from D, we have SCD. We have two possibilities, either B or F in this case. So, if I go to B, it will become 10 plus 6, 16. 16 plus uh, uh, 7. 16 plus 7 is equal to 24. 24 plus 13. That is 27 and 37. 37 is the value for B. And if I go to this particular F, it will become 10 plus 6, 16. 16 plus 6 is 22. 22 plus 1 is 23 in this case. So, this is 23 and th this is 36. And from here onwards, if I want to go, it will be more than 23 only for sure. And uh, we have reached this particular goal with 19. So, definitely these two are not uh, better possibilities over here. So, that's the reason what we do is uh, we will ignore this because we have already reached the goal with 19 and we are getting more than that value over here. So, we will ignore these particular things here. Now, if I ignore this particular B and F, uh, this uh, path is uh, removed in this case. So, what we left over here is the only option is to consider B here and uh, we will try to explore this particular B over here. Now, if I try to explore B, we have two possibilities. Either I can go to E or I can go to D in this case. If I go to this particular E, 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. 11 plus 4 is equal to 15 in this case. And if I go to this particular D, 5 plus 7 is equal to 12 plus 2 is equal to 14 in this case. This is 15 and this is 14 here. So, this is 14 for D and E is 15 in this case. Now, between these two, D is the smallest one. So, we will try to explore uh, D here. If I go towards C, it will be, uh, uh, this is the one possibility. Towards F is the another possibility. So, 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 plus 6 is equal to 22. Uh, sorry, 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. 12 plus 6 is equal to 18. 18 plus 4 is equal to 22. That is the one possibility. 5 plus 7 is equal to 12, 12 plus 6 is equal to 18, 18 plus 1 is equal to 19. This is the another possibility with respect to D here. So, these are the two possibilities. And if I see these values, it is uh, equal to or more than this particular G. So, better we will ignore these two things because uh, we have reached this goal with less than these costs. So, definitely we will 
get more cost with this particular path so we ignore both of these things now what is remaining here what is remaining that is e is the only possibility here so from e that is uh, s b e we have two paths one is towards a one is another one is towards f here so till here 5 plus 6 that is 11 11 plus 6 is equal to 17 17 plus 10 is equal to 27 that is towards a if i go towards b uh, towards f here 5 plus 6 11 11 plus 5, 4 is equal to 15 15 plus 1 is equal to 16 here so that is what we got here 16 and this is 27 now if i see this 27 which is more than 19 so again we ignore this particular thing what is left over here only f we will try to explore f here till here it is 15 we know that is uh, 5 plus 6 11 11 plus 4 is equal to 15 which is known to us so for this 15 we will add 3 that will become uh, 18 18 plus uh, 0 uh, for this particular g i am talking this particular side it will become uh, 18 only because 0 is added here and if i go this side till here it is uh, 15 15 plus 6 is equal to 15 plus 6 is equal to 21 21 plus 2 is equal to 23 so these are two possibilities one is 23 another one is 18 so 18 is the minimum as well as we have reached the goal state here so we ignore this particular d as well as we ignore this particular g also because we have reached this particular goal with respect to this path with a cost of 19 here but if i follow this particular path i am getting 18 in this case so the meaning of this particular thing is uh, we got uh, the final optimal path from s to g uh, which is uh, s to b b to e e to f and then g with a cost of 18 in this case so if you follow this particular procedure you will be able to solve any uh, questions related to a star uh, search algorithm I have solved a few more examples. The link for those videos is given in the description below. Uh, if you like this particular video, you just like. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.